Santa of Todd here driving in to the office and I uh, thought I'd have bullshit with you for a minute. Um, I know it's been a minute. Yeah, Skyrim giveth and Skyrim taketh away. Uh, started playing that son of a gun over again. And um, yeah, I just, my last weekend I didn't do anything but play it for like six or seven hours both days. And didn't do anything, and so I know I am a bit a little lax in the video. And uh, I did get all the Nintendo 64 stuff together, but I just I don't know. Maybe it's because it's not something that really piques my interest. I'm not in such a hurry to do the video. I don't know. And to be honest, I really um, I've got a couple PS3 games I picked up at like a two for twenty at GameStop or something, but. Uh, I really haven't bought anything because I've just been playing, playing instead of buying, which is not bad. So, um, but yeah, I love when you're sitting at a light and you see this huge vape cloud shoot out of the driver window of a car in front of you. It's like, God damn. But uh, I don't do that vape shit. But I never smoked either. I mean, you know, now I suppose people just start vaping and don't even haven't ever smoked even. But you know, smoking cigarettes is a bad deal. I, half my family still does, and they're still trying to quit. My sister does actually, which you know, every year she says she's gonna, you know, switch to vaping or quit or la di da, and you know, I don't know. I have some aunts that still do that are in their 60s. Um, yep, it's not a good deal. <laughs> Nobody I know that does it's like, oh, I love it, you know. But, um, anywho, I got off track. Um, yeah, I've just been playing that, and uh, so I haven't had much in the way of pickup video to do either, so. Um, and been off and on busy at work it's kind of strange it's like it was slow and then it got busy and at the beginning of the week on monday there wasn't hardly anything and now we're fucking slammed so it's just like i i don't know you never know and uh i asked for my birthday off which is in like two weeks or so and um I always feel guilty, you know, taking a day off, even if I requested it, if I know we're busy. Uh, and part of that's because I work in a small business, and another part of it's because I work with directly with a relative of mine, my uncle, you know, and I don't want to leave him in a lurch, you know, so it's just like, I don't know. But really, I don't want, I, I'm like wanting to stand firm and say I'm taking it no matter what. <laughs> I should, you know. I mean, that's why I never end up taking any vacation time. Not that I'll do anything with it. I'll probably play Skyrim for six hours on my birthday. But, you know. I'm going like 60 and dudes are just flying by me. In a, and it's 50 on, in, on this stretch. And dudes are like flying by me going like 70 at least because I'm going 60 oh I was going to talk about something else this morning but I can't recall what it is we talked about the Skyrim we talked about the Nintendo 64 thing uh, I didn't have a question, but it was something I was just going to bullshit about. And now I can't remember, because I got distracted by the vape cloud. <laughs> the vape cloud got me. Awesome. So, yeah, I guess this is kind of just a little short little how do you do. Um, not much um, content. Come on, buddy. Can you turn right or not? I'm going to go ahead and go. Okay, that's enough blinker. So. Oh, um, was I going to talk about? No, I wasn't going to talk about the weather. Although it has kind of let up. 
it's been kind of cool here. It's, it was only 71 degrees yesterday. Usually it's in like the mid 80s and high humidity and it has actually felt good. It's kind of crazy. Yep, uh, that wasn't it. <laughs> Sorry folks, that wasn't my topic. Um, yeah, I, every time I end up playing Skyrim, because this is the fourth time I started it over again, um, I tend to always, and I want to, I guess this could, it could be a question that just kind of popped into my head. <coughs> if you replay a game, if you replay a game, do you try to totally switch up your game plan and go a totally different route? I mean, it could be just the fact that you are a total good guy uh, in Fallout and the second time you're a total dick. I can't do it. I always end up falling back into my same <coughs> way I did it the first time. And it's like, on Fallout, I got real good with small weapons and lock picking, and uh, I I didn't really learn the other stuff, you know. And then it's like the second time I played through, I kind of did it the same way. And after about the third or fourth time, I was finally like, I'm going to learn more of the science or whatever allowed you to hack the computers and stuff. And uh, that made it a little more interesting, but I didn't totally switch over to playing it that way. And what I was going to say is, this is the fourth time I've started it over. <coughs> Sorry folks, I'm starting to get kind of dry here. I think I got iced tea back here. Not that I can unscrew the cap with one hand. Come on. It's like a metal plate in the road here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I almost got it. Ah, there we go. Um, but yeah, I always end up playing it the same way. It's like I picked a Nord female three of the four times. I, um... Usually do one-handed weapons, but I dual wield. Uh, one time I think I did more of uh, one-handed and shield, and the other time I did dual wielding with two of them. Because so, one time, one time out of the four times, I, I cannot get the this the seal broken on this fucking iced tea. Hold on a second. Whoa. Yeah. So. Um, the other time, <laughs> and I'm still coughing, the other time, I'll probably trim that out, <laughs> so now you're hearing me talking about trimming something out, awesome, this is why I don't charge money or do Patreon, um, but uh, I picked an orc, because they were strong, and I remember going into the orc strongholds and stuff that it was harder or almost nigh impossible to do with another character. And, uh, but I, I still dual wielded and I, I never really go with the magic, you know, or anything. Over the course of replaying it four times, I learned some magic is beneficial, like the healing magic and the, um, there's a spell called Transmute, which turns iron ore into silver and gold ore. And then you can make gold bricks out of it. So you can buy iron ore for like four uh, septums or whatever. And then turn around and sell the gold bar that you pay, you know spent eight, eight uh, septums for two iron ore. You can sell just the gold bar for like a hundred dollars. So it's just like 90% profit if you want to spend the time doing it but if you're having trouble earning money you know that is an option and that i i found while i was playing it um and also you can use that gold ore to make a lot of jewelry and that'll help if you're trying to do smithing and stuff at least i've found i just got this tickle in my throat man i might have to give it up give up the ghost
Yeah. So, I think I'm level 27 right now. The highest character I ever got was level 54. And um, I think on one of the games I joined the Imperial Legion, but on the other ones I've never made any affiliation. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I could catch you up on my Skyrim game. Anyway, I, yeah, I spent my time playing it, and then I spent this time bullshitting about what I did when I played it, so. Oh, boy, you love me. I know you do. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for coming by, folks. Um, video soon. Talk to you later. Bye.